so cold, do the answers important, they fresh out the boat Just fell on my diamonds, I'm I trap out the Audi Dodging the fizz while I'm wearing a cutter But listen, I'm free So many flavors and shit looking trappy Look at these diamonds, let's just get excited Stay with the rocket, I feel like a pilot Stay on the jet, all of them private You want the pet, meet me at highest Remix is dope, they said I'm cool, yeah, I trap out the Audi Dodging the fizz they pillow talking, but I ain't caught the new chain. Roll up a seven, I swear we ain't smoking the same. I caught the seven and then I jumped off in the game. Then I caught the half cause I had to go and maintain it. Tax on my body, you rock to me long sleeve. What the fuck would I be if it went for the tree? Alright, you too, back at it. See, we finna do some little wide body action. So you can see I already got the back bumper compared to yesterday. Look at that. So what we're doing is we're massaging this fender out until we get it all the way clear to where we don't have no hokey pokey. All right, first thing you want to do is remove everything inside, which is the wells. You got a screw there, a screw there, two screws here, one underneath down under there, and then one over here. You want to take all those off, take this inner off. All right, let me show you how I do this. First, you want to make sure you got your two there, close by, All right? And so, find us a nice, solid space. Push it. And they're secure. As I, as I pump it, I'm gonna show you how it begins to push clear the fender out. You see, pump it. it start to flare up. Starting to stretch the metal. A little too far here. So I'm gonna bring it back here and pull this out some. I'm just gonna keep doing it all the way around until we get it even. So out here, that's where we got most of our pressure. I'm gonna make sure you got even pressure all the way around too as well. So that means that this is probably sitting in there, catty corner. Yeah, so we got more pressure there than everywhere else. So we're gonna realign it. Play it in one more time. Now we're gonna massage that backside out. You see, still got some on the front, dude, in the top. But that back, so what I got is my machine in there. All right? I'm just gonna push that bumper support out along with this fender support here. So it makes me go, first we push that out, then we push this out just so we don't, when we get ready to wide body, we don't have to make a big cut and it's not even noticeable to the naked eye. It's pretty much only gonna be noticeable if you put two Monte Carlos next to each other. But I'm gonna show you a picture now. I'm gonna show you how it looked yesterday. Grab the seven days a week, it ain't no slack. I'm gonna pull up on your fast and I'm gonna serve you. Alright, now I'm gonna show you how we just flared out the front. As you see, starting to flare out. Slowly starting to flare out. Just gonna keep massaging it until we flare out some more. See how it's flaring out? So we slowly get into the corner of the tire. When we get there, we we'll massage down here just a little bit more to bring this out a little bit. So we can, this is nothing we can do about that, but this we can make look good. So we can bring that all the way around. Just doing that. Show y'all what it looks like when I'm done. See, I made a cut in the fan wall right here. Right, what that allows me to do is be able to space this up, gap it, and be able to give me the wide body that I need. We already had a dent here, so what I'm just doing is going around and massaging this out. We already did the back side, so you see the back side is put it in there and we put it back about two inches. So now we're just trying to get this to line up with that. So what we did was 
Cut that there to allow some stress. And we're just gonna keep pushing it in. You see, I got a block of wood in there so I don't put any more dents on the other side. And that's just gonna allow me to massage this back a little bit. I'm just gonna do it up and down the prison wall all the way around. All right, until I get to here. Cause that's the bumper there. The bumper's already moved back and it's plastic. So what we want to do is move the metal back. So right here is where our metal and our plastic joins. So we're moving that brace back and this back here. And what that does is it's gonna keep giving us that two inch gap. I used to be flying the truck like I'm a right, now you can see where I damn near is there. You know, still getting shaved, so don't worry about pulling out anymore. But right there is where we at. So as you can see, we got that going all the way down and up. And why body that? And all we did was use our pump thing. You can see I still got some pressure on this one. We're just gonna stretch the metal. And then you're going through your body work, of course. We're gonna stretch it out enough to where you can see that damn tight. But you're gonna still get this offset shape, so we're gonna still slide in, but you can see how it's wide body that. I put it next to a regular Monte Carlo. You can see the difference. So you can see, we got a curve there. This is the one we just created. Just pull that fender down two inches. And this back bumper out two inches. And now you got a wide body stand. So, so this side, we still got to pull out a little bit. But it's almost there. So here, you still can see we need to pull out here. And a little bit up here. And once we do that, we should be good. Yeah, so that's where we at right now. We almost there with the end. All right, if everybody's asking, the customer had three inch cups welded in before it got to me. I'm just doing all the wide body in and making sure the rims can turn and all that. But he already had it lifted with three inch cups in the front and back. So anybody who's asking, that's how he got it to sit up a little bit and clear these. You see, he didn't bend them. He just had them three inch cups lift welded in. Some people do bend these here. But the three inch cup for 26s work better. I think the bending is better for the 24s. So there y'all go. I'm gonna bring this bump route just a little bit more. I don't know if I'm gonna bring it out too much more. And he's still getting his offset shaved, so his back, his wheel's still gonna sink in some more. This is our little curve here. Our lip. See what they do? Just gonna body work that at the top. And we still gotta lower it. Much that's now. Still gonna bring this out a little more, and I'll show you how we're gonna do that. We're gonna bring this out a little more and brace it in in the inside. So it holds out the two inches there. Well, really not even two inches no more. Really just a hitch. Get you one of these. Right. Kids. Kind of different extensions. What's gonna do is gonna help. Push everything out that you Like I said, we still gotta lower it, so when we lower it, we get that offset shade a little bit. So we sunk those in. Still got a little work to do on this side. Still gotta bring this bottom out here on this side. <laughs> top. <laughs> Bottom and top is what we get ready to work on. Right. 
Pressure on you, see how spacing out. So that pressure on is why I buy it without having to do anything to the outside. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of that metal and I'm gonna load it in here with the pressure on. Well, some stuff. Well, piece here, maybe in the middle, and at the top. What they'll do is they'll hold this out, and then what they'll do is come back, fill it in. You know, then our lip back, this lip kind of beat up, so we're gonna bend it back. Make sure we got a nice push lip. That's how you do it. Right like here. Riding it out there. And you do that same thing. You gotta cut up about right here. Do that same thing all the way around. And then right along here. Now I put a little lip here. So the lip that was here, that line there, I turned, I just beat along that line until it starts to curl out. What you do is you make the, put some pressure there, beat along that line, and it'll cause it to start to curl up. So we're gonna do that all the way up to about right here and let it fade out into the bumper. I want y'all to kind of see how I'm opening this gap up. Oh. Don't forget, we still gotta do our body work right here where I had to hammer out my lip. You can see, when we drop it, be right on there. He's gonna get his all set together some more. I'm not gonna shop the shade too much as before. And we're good to go. Let's play it out. I'm not really noticing unless it's next to a little money, Carlo. Where at, the thing I like about it looks natural. It looks like no boat on a kick. It looks like a bunch of fiberglass. It looks like a car came like that. Still working on this side. We got this side off now. Put the last little bit on this side. Running our lip. We're gonna run this lip on this side. We're gonna weld that piece in there. Size of rat. Let's see how much it is on this side. How wide is it? Alright, so I'm just <laughs> get a little pressure there. Get right along that body line that was there. Flare this out. See how flaring out? It's in that body line there. Still gotta do body work and everything, so you gotta get all these little dents and body work them as long as they 
down and even, we're good. So what I did was made two slits, draw two signature lines here and here. So let me know where I'm in at. Where I need to push out. So I need to push here and here. And I'll hammer in between here and on the outside of here to bring this whole lip in. I'll show you how we do that. So, yeah, we just want to bring that whole thing out about right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to push here. Hammer this and it stretch all this out. That's how we get our lip. You can see we got a fade, nice little fade back into the fender. The black bumper. And then we got a nice fade into the front bumper. So now you can see we're over the hill. You just need to push out here a little bit. You clean this up. I'll show you what that looks like. Part three. Right now we're looking good. Start body working this out a little bit. So it looks nice and Niggas got sticks like a matchbox. I'm in these woods like a Sasquatch. I'm in these trenches with the half knots. Caught a few new toys, but it ain't for no ties. <laughs> Niggas gon' hate on you if they know that they ain't got it. Niggas gon' hate on you if they know they can't obtain it. They pillow talking, but I didn't caught the new chain. Roll up a seven, I swear we ain't smoking the same. I caught the seven and then I jumped off in the game. Then I caught the half cause I had to go and maintain it. Tax on my body, you rockin' me long sleeve. What the fuck would I be if it went for the tree? What the fuck would I be if it went for the trap? I cut the spinning shit and then I get it back. My life in a movie, but my shit really than rap. All that flexing, man, I know you JB Cap. Bet it all on me, I bet I make it happen. Grinding seven days a week, it ain't no slack. I'ma pull up on your fast and I'ma serve you. If you just pump faking, then I'm just gonna swear you. And you smoking on that quiet, I ain't heard you. If you keep playing with me, then I might hurt you. If I don't know you, I'm pull up with the straps like her. So cold, the yes is important, they fresh out the boat. Fill up my diamonds. Stay with the rocket, I feel like a pilot Stay on the jet, all of them private You want the pet, meet me at highest Remix the dope, they said I'm cool, yeah, I trap out the Audi Dodging the fizz while I'm moving